This presentation is on Dame Alicia Markova. Alicia was born on December 1st, 1910 in Finsbury Park, London, United Kingdom. Her original name was Lillian Alicia Marks. Uh, her last name was changed to Markova by Diaghilev uh, in order to sound more Russian to fit in with the Ballet Russe. She was homeschooled uh, and the oldest of four girls. She was very shy and had several childhood illnesses. She started dancing for therapeutic reasons. Uh, she was diagnosed as flat-footed and weak kneed at age eight, and her doctor thought that ballet would help strengthen her. Um, when she started taking a few classes, it was clear to her dance teacher that she had a lot of natural talent that shined through. Um, Alicia did die on December 2nd, 2004 in Bath, England, just one day after her 94th birthday. Some of the training that she had, uh, she started her training with Serafina Astafieva, uh, who was a former Ballet Russe star. Uh, she signed with Diaghilev in the Ballet Russe uh, in 1924. However, before that, while she was under Serafina, she was cast in Sleeping Beauty uh, in 1921. However, she was hospitalized for diphtheria and was unable to come to dance in the Sleeping Beauty show. However, in 1924, Diaghilev did see her dance again and signed on Markova. Um, she signed on to the Ballet Ruse because her father had died and she needed to make money to support their family and she knew that she could do that through dance. She also studied technique with Shaketti and Lagat. Uh, they were some of her main teachers. She studied Russian ballet. She studied under Balanchine. She had a very wide technical range. Some of the things that Markova did, she uh, helped develop English ballet. Uh, she uh, helped develop the ballet club and the Vic Wells Ballet, which later turned into the Royal Ballet. And those companies helped establish the English ballet. Uh, she created a Markova Dolan Ballet Company that toured the world. It helped pioneer appearances in outdoor stadiums. She did that with her dance partner, Antoine Dolan. Um, they also together co-founded the Festival Ballet. She helped bring awareness to the ballet ba Balanchine's Ballet Theater in New York. Uh, she danced there for several seasons. Uh, she, it was said that she, quote, lent her stardom, end quote, to Balanchine to help get his name out there. And the festival ballet was, again, created by Markova and Dolan. Some of her most noted works... Uh, her first one, she was 10 years old. She It was a pantomime ballet, Dick Whittington. She had a few solos in there, and that is when Diaghilev saw her and decided to cast her in the 1921 uh, sleep performance of Sleeping Beauty. Um, she was the nightingale in Les Rosignols in 1926. Uh, she is very famous for her role of Giselle, in which we will be watching a clip in in a little bit. She was also one of the first ballerinas to do Odette and Odile, the Swan Lake kind of duo. And she was also very famous for being a nymph in La Les Sophides. Uh, one of the reviews that I found was from John Martin with the New York Times that said Markova has danced the role so many times that she could undoubtedly do it in her sleep. What is so notable is that she never does. She is as fresh, as sensitive, as creatively alert as if she had never done it before. But what a wealth of background she has accumulated for it. This, is, this review is based off of her role in Giselle. Um, she is Giselle and it is one of the roles that everyone associates with her. 
This is a clip from Giselle with her partner Antoine Dolan. I'm going to have to share this video very quickly. This is the checkers game where grandson and granddad will bond. This is the kitchen where the new boyfriend will unofficially. This video is a couple excerpts from the act two of Giselle um, performed by Alicia Markova and Antoine Dolan. such trust in each other even if something would go wrong the audience would never be aware of it <laughs> Alicia is very light on her feet and her technicality was said to have been close to Pavlova as she was known as a little Pavlova. worries of work or austerity. Alicia became a dame in 1963, which is the female equivalent of a knight. Um, she was dubbed that by Queen Elizabeth II. She had directed the Metropolitan Opera Ballet from 1963 to 1964, and she did serve on the faculty of the University of Cincinnati College Conservatory of Music from 1970 to 1974. While Alicia was never married, she devoted her entire life to ballet. Even after she retired from performing, she gave many lectures, she choreographed, and she made many appearances. And here are my references. <laughs> 